Hello there, thank you for bringing in this rare gem of an item for inspection and appraisal. So just looking at the external areas, there's a fair bit of wear and tear, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But it shows that this item may be a very special antique. Now, do you still use this item in the clinic? That's understandable. Right, so the case is in good order. I'm not too fussed about the wear and tear. Let's just check the lock. They're working fine. And let's just have a little look inside. This is a very special piece here. This looks like an antique trial lens set. So the first thing I like to do before inspecting anything is to have a little listen to the lens sounds. Just give me a little moment please. Now one of the unique selling points, something like this for me, are the lens sounds. Can you hear those beautiful clinks? Let's just bring them back this way. Marvellous, I'm very happy with those sounds. So just let me inspect the internal case. a very good cushion there for lens protection as well as the accessories that are here. Okay so it looks as though you have a mixture because some of the lenses are missing a mixture of small aperture lenses and full aperture lenses here. That's fine, I'll check the lenses a little bit later. First I want to have a little look at some of the instrumentation. First up we have this beautiful antique trial frame. Okay. Very thin sides with the wraparound design. You can see it just flattens there. It's a slight increase in surface area. That's for comfort purposes for the patient. You have your little PD scale here and the adjustment dial there. That needs a little bit of a service. Okay, let's just try one of the lenses. Excellent. 
Excellent. So the lenses fit nicely into the trial frame there. The little height adjuster. That is the antique trial frame there. Looks as though we have two cross cylinders. Have a L50 cross cylinder. Beautiful knurled handle there. We have another cross cylinder here. There's no markings indicate the power, but you can see there L50 cross cell. This is an L50 cross cell. The minus meridian is depicted by the black and the plus is depicted by the red markings there. Minus L50 cross cylinders. We have a little handheld Maddox rod here. But unfortunately there are some cracks on the Maddox rod there. So unfortunately that's not going to be in good working order, so that will need replacing. Right, let's have a little look at some of the accessories. I have a Maddox rod there, depending on whether you're checking horizontal or vertical fourriers. Actually, have two. Medic rods there, marvellous, they're fine. Have a green filter there. And your red filter there. Most important, you have your blocker lens to occlude one eye, just to ensure there is no light able to pass through the blocker, that's perfect. Now on this side, marked by the S, are your slits. We have a pair of those slightly thicker one and that's your thinner one there. A pair of slits. You have your CD lens there. And also most importantly we have a pinhole lens there checking macular function, cuts out the peripheral light and focuses light just at the macular area and the fovea. Okay, let's have a look here. So you have a little piece of Swiss cheese. Just kidding, that is your lens cloth there. Looks as though we have some spare lenses here. So that will need looking at in the facimeter because the markings have eroded. And we just have some old lenses here. Not very clean. A bifocal there thick lens there. So these dummy lenses aren't going to serve any purpose. Let's have a look at this other spare lens. That is a plus R25 spherical lens. So that is a spare. Okay, now I also note that you are missing 
some lenses from the set. In particular, you're missing all of your prism lenses here, ranging from half a prism diopter to 20 prism diopters. So I hope you've got a prism bar for the clinic. You're missing some of your minus cylindrical lenses here from minus 650 to eight uh, diopters there. And you are also missing quite a fair amount of convex lenses here in the high range. No problems in your mid to lower range. And just over here, we're missing one or two uh, concave lenses, minus lenses there. Okay, so I'm just going to spend a few moments selecting some lenses at random for review. So I'm going to start with the minus cylinders. Have your minus L fifties there. Your minus L seven fives. Your minus one. One two five. And just looking at this set of lenses here, good there, and you have a crack on the minus 150 cylinder there, cylindrical lens, so that's going to need replacing there. Okay, minus 150, minus 175. Minus two cylinder, two five, two fifty, two seven five, onto the small apertures, three two five, three fifty, four, two five, four fifty, five, five fifty, all the way up to your minus six cylindrical lens there. Lovely. Have a look at the plus cylinders. So now how they start at point one two five diopters rather than most common trial lens sets. Let's start at plus out two five or out two five in general. Minus out fifty plus sorry plus out fifty plus out seven five one. A lovely complete set there. Okay, so we range from point one two five to twenty diopters. So it's a very expansive power range. Let's have a look at your uh, concave lenses. Just checking the powers, that the lenses are in the correct slots. 25, 150, minus 175, 225, missing a 350, 375, 45, 45, 50, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55
minus 17, and we make one diopter jumps. 18, 19 to minus 20 diopters, marvellous. Let's have a look at briefly the plus convex lenses. A replacement large aperture lens there, which is the plus four seven five. D five seven five six plus six fifty seven D nine ten eleven twelve to plus thirteen two fourteen to two fifty sixteen seventeen. 18, two 19s and two plus 20s. There's, these are your high plus lenses. Certainly magnify the image you're looking at. Plus lenses magnify. And the minus 20. High minification lenses. shrinks in size there. So someone who's long sighted shall require plus lenses to correct their prescription, their optical error. Someone who's short sighted shall require minus lenses from here. And if you have astigmatism, which can happen in conjunction with plus or a minus prescription, you have your cylindrical lenses here. With your markings here, so you can correct the astigmatism at the right axis. Those are your minus lenses. And some optometrists work in plus cylindrical form. And others work in minus cylindrical form. Excellent. So I am very impressed with this lens set. So much so, I'm going to make you an offer for the set and the accessories. Right, let's have a little look. Right, so we have to take into account a little bit about the condition and some of the missing lenses. And that's the small apertures aren't fully complete. I'm going to make you a cash offer. I'm going to say, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, Her Majesty's, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200 British pounds for the full set. Would you like to take the offer?